Technology is brilliant. It has modernized society in so many ways. While we can now easily whip out our phones to send a message to anyone, it does come with its own unique set of challenges, particularly with texting and dating. If you've agonized over questions like, should I text him? Should I text him first? Would he get turned off if I send him this message? Then keep watching as I'm about to show you what not to text him and what to text him. I also have a fabulous video that reveals how to text in a way that stirs up loving feelings within men. I have the link to that video below in the description, though watch this first as this information really needs to be watched before you view the content of the other video. Hi, I'm Nadine Piet, a dating and attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now, before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy, rockin' love. And if you're new and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my next video and don't forget the thumbs up. Texting is such an easy way to stay connected to people and yet there are certain things that women do that ends up being one of the biggest turnoffs for guys. The first mistake you should avoid is number one, texting too much. Texting too much can make the other person feel that you're too needy or clingy. Neediness is an unattractive trait both for men and women, so don't overwhelm him with your messages. If you're unsure whether you should text him or not, a good rule of thumb is to match his frequency. Initially, text for text is a good rule of thumb. Sure, you can lead by sending the first text from time to time, though don't make it a habit, let him lead to no chasing here. Encouragement, yes, chasing, no. Mistake number two is always asking questions. Of course, I understand wanting to get to know more about him, and yet some women are so desperate to hear back from a man that they ask so many questions. Remember, this isn't an interrogation. If you want to know how to text a guy effectively, I recommend using statements. For example, instead of asking, what are you doing, text him, hope you're having a super day. Or instead of asking, are you free this week? Can text him if you're free this weekend, let's catch up. Of course, some questions will be appropriate, though don't overdo it. Most women use questions to hook a man into a texting conversation. Know that a statement can still start a conversation. If he wants to start chatting, he will. Mistake number three is expecting fast responses. Nobody is glued to their phone 24 seven. Expecting him to respond to your text quickly or within a time frame that is favorable to you creates overthinking on your end. Why isn't he replying? Did I say something wrong? Oh my God, should I have said that in another way? Stop. This kind of expectation and pressure will only hurt you in the end. By the time he replies, you're already all wound up to the point of not being able to communicate well with him, which could actually ruin your chances with this guy. Let go of response expectations and surrender rather than being fearful. Trust that if he likes you, he will respond soon enough. Now, speaking of overwhelming, mistake number four is confronting him about these slow responses. Be careful to not jump to conclusions that his slow responses mean something about you. Most of the time, he'll legitimately be busy. Sometimes we're able to read a text that we're not able to respond at that time. We might be catching up with a friend and in deep conversation at the gym or in a meeting and texting at that time would easily be seen as rude or unprofessional. Bottom line is that there will be times that he's able to respond immediately, other times it can take a number of hours. I know you want to hear from him immediately, though this is not realistic and he shouldn't get stick for being busy at times. Our phones are a tool to allow for easy communication. We should not be slaves to them. But if 95% of the time he takes hours or days to respond, then this could indicate that he's not interested or then again he's systemically terrible at responding to texts. Perhaps it's time for a little conversation about it to share your communication values. To help with these points, I have a powerful free quiz to give you. You see, most of us have some emotional blocks when it comes to finding love, which can show up in the way we text. 
if you don't trust that someone will ever love you or you get anxious with the unknown of early stage dating, then it's important to find out what your blocks are so that you can overcome them and date and relate with men with a sense of ease and confidence. You can find the link to my romantic love block quiz, it's in the description right below. It can be truly enlightening and helpful, so check it out. Mistake number five is taking too long to respond. There are women who take too long to respond on purpose. Some women feel that if they do this, it will make the guy chase them. They're treating men in a mean way to keep them keen. While it's true a lot of men are happy to do some chasing, taking this too far can actually backfire on you. What men want, most men, is some encouragement. Just like the men you like, sometimes you'll be free to respond quite quickly and other times you'll be busy. It's only natural to mix it up. Remember what I said in our first point, a good rule of thumb is to make match his texting frequency and don't really overdo it. Also, if you are truly busy, then just let him know that you got caught up with something in your life which made you respond late. Mistake number six is one word messages. If you text him things like hi or sup or WID what you doing or worse, just a question mark, these messages will obviously not engage him. It sounds like you're not interested in talking to him or that you're bored and just looking for something to pass the time. It can also come across like you're insecure and testing him by hedging his interest and not taking a risk. Guys do this too, so if you're going to text him, be a little more creative and please refer to that other video I created as this will also help you with this point. I have the link in the description. So if you tend to be rather short in your texts, then be mindful to mix it up. But if you're the opposite of this and you send really long detailed messages, then the next point will apply. Mistake number seven is TMI texting. This is sending him way too much information like blow by blow details of your day that ends up reading like a novel. Sure, you can tell him about your day but don't overwhelm or bore him. The way to do this is to share something about yourself and then revert the question back to him. For instance, if you told him a particular highlight of your weekend coming that you're looking forward to doing, ask him this, what about you? Do you have something planned for the weekend? This way the conversation moves forward and it feels more like a back and forth instead of you just focusing on you. Well, there you have it. The seven types of texting you might need to do more or less of so that you can encourage a man in the right way. It's easy to send a message, but knowing how to do it in a way that will allow him to connect with you on a deeper level is the tricky part. So avoid these texting mistakes. To support you even further, and if you haven't yet, I highly recommend you check out my program, Unlock His Heart. It has some very specific texting tips that can help surge attraction between you and your guy. Also, if you've ever had a man send you suggestive messages, then no problem. I reveal exactly how to deal with this in a way that makes you feel empowered and in a way that makes him feel not only respect for you, but also desire for you on a deeper level on a more emotional level. I also share the tricks to feeling 100% at peace if and when a man takes a while to respond to you so that you remain calm, confident, and captivating. This is dating and attraction gold, and it's called the three W's. The link to my Unlock His Heart program is right below in the description. Well, that's it for today's video. Please comment below and let me know if what I shared in this video relates to the man you're dating right now. Also, if you have any tips of your own, please share them with me and my community. And while you're at it, please do subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and the bell button to get notified of my new videos every week. And of course, a thumbs up would be amazing. If you have a friend who's making these texting mistakes, please share this with them as it might be the very video they need to be able to get out of that situation to start feeling empowered when dating. It's been a great honor to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love a little more in some way every day and see you again at my next video.